Hey everybody, this is Antonio with RetroStar Gaming 94, and today I'm doing part 4 of our Let's Play of Mega Man X for Super Nintendo. Uh, in the last video, we took on Flame Mammoth stage, and we also went back to um, Chill Piglin stage and collected uh, a few things that we missed in the first run through it. So, please, if you haven't checked out any of those other videos, go ahead and check those out so you're caught up. And then make sure that you uh, comment like subscribe rate share all those wonderful things you're supposed to do with YouTube channels uh, well without further ado here we go uh, today we're gonna take on spark mandrill uh, now for those of you out there wondering uh, uh, what a mandrill is it's a it's a type of monkey or an ape essentially um, yeah I'm not super sure uh, I know it's, one, it's, a, it's a monkey or an ape, I don't know. I never knew what the difference was. Alright. So, um, in the last video I talked about how defeating bosses in certain orders will affect stages. Uh, Flame Mammoth stage, because we had defeated Chill Penguin, all his lava had turned into ice. Well, now that we're in Spark Mandrill stage, his factory has been kind of destroyed since we beat Storm Eagle. His stage kind of crashed. So the aircraft crashed on a, on his factory. Yep. Anyway, uh, enough enough technical stuff. We'll just get to some gameplay and some uh, some nice commentary here. Yeah. You know, ugh, these enemies are so generic. They're so easy to beat. I mean, Capcom could have done such a better job putting an enemy in that actually posts threats or been more varied with the enemy designs. I feel like. There isn't a whole lot of variation on the enemy designs. For the most part, they just recycle the bats, these big blue guys. Um, there's the ostriches that were in Chill Penguin stage. They appear in other stages. It's kind of a cool stage here we're uh, playing on today. So, some sort of electric factories I'm sure. That's kind of cool, kind of nice effect with the with the power outages that happen. You know, you don't get to see. This is this is oh yeah, these are just, like enemy things. I always thought they were like fireflies or something. Uh, the shit out of me. They just come out of nowhere and they come so fast. It takes one bullet to kill them, but they could just hit you. You wouldn't even know it. It's pretty pretty intense. Pretty intense, you guys. Balls makes me poop my pants a little bit. Yeah. I just said that. There's so much in Mega Man that I don't even understand. I mean, I think Mega Man's a badass. I know I I probably talked about this way too many times than I should have, but I really think that Mega Man is a, a badass. And then you know his game is fucking. His first game was revolutionary. I mean that they. If this game hadn't been so good, they wouldn't have made like eight more of them. I mean, I really wish they would make another Mega Man X. I haven't played past Mega Man X six because um, I don't, I don't like, I didn't like the whole change in Mega Man X seven. I thought it made it more like like Mega Man Legends, and I have no disrespect for that game whatsoever. I, I played it, I played it when it came out. It was around my time. I mean, it wasn't like a terrible game. I mean, I only had like two or three days to play it, so I mean, I didn't really get in depth. And plus, I was I was a lot younger, and I didn't really get into games that much when I was younger. I mean, I didn't like I played them and I enjoyed them, but I didn't get in depth. Yet. And I just Mega Man Legends didn't feel super engaging to me. I mean, it felt like it was Capcom's way of trying to capitalize on the whole Mario 64 success, you know, taking Mario into a 3D plane. And you no, know, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with making 3D. Mega Man games, but I mean, you just have to do it right. And I just felt like Mega Man Legends was a complete success. I know there's probably going to be you know, people who start watching these videos who are hardcore Mega Man fans. I've been listening to say this and be like, "You're crazy. You're fucking. You're fucking stupid. Fucking Mega Man Legends is the shit. It was the best game out there. I mean, you should, you know, you need to get fucked that. And you know what? I mean, that doesn't bother me because everybody's in power for it. So like, I don't really care." Yeah. Anyway. Well, enough talk about that. I that's just my two cents on Mega Man. 
these fucking these fucking wheel things are kind of sketch. I mean, you have these things. These these enemies are actually really easy to beat. Capcom, I'm really disappointed in your designs. I think I mean you have some really cool bosses, and there's like select few enemies that appear in the game that are just like fucking difficult. You'll see. We haven't even hit some of the mini bosses yet. I mean we hit one. Which was that last one we just battled, that little... I don't even know what to call it. Fucking... It reminds me of, like... I don't know if you guys... This might be a little out there, but... I used to watch Powerpuff Girls on Cartoon Network. And yes, I, I will say that was actually a really good show. And I really enjoyed watching it. Um, but there was, a, there was an episode where these raindrops would fall. And they would, like, destroy things. And it turned out, like, the raindrops had these things in them. That's what that last boss reminded me of. I thought it was pretty badass. I don't know. Maybe I'm just delusional. Maybe it's the fact that I'm on crack. No, I'm just kidding. I'm too crack. If I did crack, I probably wouldn't be sitting in my basement. Doing nothing. Except for recording videos. Which I've never watched. Yep. Life story. So, here's Spark Mandrel. Super easy to beat. I mean, super chill. <laughs> no pun intended there. <laughs> He's freaking easy to beat. Doesn't, doesn't require much effort. You just hit him with... Oh, well, I mean, you could die if you're not paying attention like that, because he could just knock you out one punch. That wasn't realistic at all. I freaking... I, I hit him like three times with, you know, my eyes beat, and he decided he was just going to punch me once and kill me. I had, I had a decent amount of health, but that was kind of, that was kind of a little ball shot. There's another boss I think is kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at the end, maybe at the end of this uh, let's play, I'll, uh, I'll, come, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come up with a list of my favorite bosses and I'll put them in the order that I, that I enjoy them. Uh, I know I said Storm Eagle, I thought it was the baddest, the baddest of them all, but well, I wouldn't say he's number one. I don't know. I, I haven't sat down and thought about it. number one. I'd have to. Maybe I'll do that. Oh wow! I try it again. Eh. Okay, I got lives to spare. He's an easy boss. I'm just not paying attention. Maybe I'll do a video on best Mega Man bosses out there. Cause there's a lot of them. And I played I played every Mega Man game up to X6. Well, I just I'd have to get my hands on a copy of X7 and X8, which wouldn't be too bad because I haven't played those for too long. So, if any of you have any recommendations on where to find those, please don't be don't be afraid to comment on the videos. Videos are meant to be commented on. It makes me sad when I see no comments. Except for one year, people tell me that my subtitles are off. That makes me very sad. Does he have a goatee or something? Oh, wow. That was significantly easy. I don't know why I died two times, but it's whatevs, I guess. I don't know. I say that a lot. It's whatevs. I can make a sub. All right, Mega Man. Let's see what we got. What did we get? You get electric spark. Woo! We got electric spark, everybody. That's pretty badass to me. All right. Let's write this password down. Password on lock. And you all, and by the way, if you all want to pause the video when you're playing this game, if you're playing this game along with me, and you want to pause the video and, and you say you just don't want to be professional bosses and fix up these passwords, totally fine with that. Uh, I don't, yeah, totally fine with that. Uh, we're going to attempt Armored Armadillo's stage. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, you know, we might have to come back to it on the next video. That's cool. It's chill. We're not in a hurry to beat this game. I beat this game plenty of times, so you know. I mean, all in due time. I mean, if you if you all really need to see the ending, then there's some there's got to be somebody else on YouTube who's posting the ending to this game. Um, it's it's pretty good. I I didn't think it was like the greatest ending. I mean, I love I love the story of Mega Man X. I mean, it's, it's super chill. It's it's actually really deep, and it gets deeper with the game. So you know. I mean, you don't get the whole story right here in this game. Um, the gist of it is that, you know, 
Uh, we talked in the first video about the difference between Mega Man X and Mega Man the original classic was that um, Mega Man X could think and do for himself. He could, he could think as almost like a human, and in a sense, become an equal with him. And, uh, and so, he was also created by Dr. Thomas Light, who also created Mega Man. But Dr. Thomas Light, uh, and they can explain again a few of that. Mega Man might make the wrong decision, so he put him in a capsule so that he would test for 30 years. By the way, here's another sub tank. And so Mega Man was tested for 30 years. And then, but the thing was, Dr. Light wasn't going wasn't gonna to live to see that. So, um, he was too old by the time it was going to happen. I don't think they ever specified how old he was, but he was, he was a little bit. And so he was found by Dr. Kane, who uh, also created, I believe he created Sigma. Sigma was the leader of this of the new rep, uh, Reploid Maverick Hunters. Maverick Hunters uh, hunt uh, Reploids that have been infected with this virus called the Maverick Virus. And what happens is they pretty much become what Dr. Light feared Mega Man. Uh, somebody who wouldn't have been so would, would fight against them. So, that so Sigma uh, uh, found Mega Man Zero prior to finding Mega Man X, and, and Zero joined the force. And he was, he was an amazing, uh, amazing hunter. And it's not revealed specifically in the first game. Um, this is a spoiler alert, by the way. Uh, Doc, uh, Mega Man Zero was created by Dr. Uh, if you are familiar with Mega Man Classic references, you know the, uh, the, the, the robot bases. Uh, well, the base was a first attempt at something, but uh, Zero was kind of the protected form. And so, um, what happens is Mega Man Zero, Mega Man X, and Sigma are all part of the Rep Force. And Sigma kind of gets infected with Maverick Virus, and he infects all these you know, uh, big-time hunters in the, in the force, kind of like like one I'm fighting right now. All, all these Reploid bosses were at one point part of the force, and were um, really talented. And so Sigma infected them with the virus. And there's more we can talk about as far as the, as far as the virus goes, and, you know, where it came from, how it affects different characters. Talk about it a lot more in, uh, in like, for example, Mega Man X5. It's a big, it's a big deal. But that's a story for another day. That's a play for another day. So, yep. All right. Well, we uh, made a lot of progress today. And uh, commentary. I hope we found someone informative, somewhat. Yeah, I think we're going to call it good for this uh, segment of our Let's Play on Mega Man X. So, don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, uh, don't forget to rate, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to help us out, well, please. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Antonio from Retro Style Gaming 94, and I will catch you on the next video.